Well, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for sticking with us. This is Y254 TV, your number one youth station. And of course, we are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also streaming live through our website. And that's at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. Now, my name is Ram Aguko, and this is Power Talk. It's a pleasure being with you each and every Thursday. And of course, I repeat, all this show airs again every Thursday at 10 p.m. This morning, we and, and of course, if you repeat, tonight, we want to talk about matters concerning finances. How can you secure a safe financial future for yourself as an individual and for yourselves as a couple? Is it possible to have that financial security how can we ensure that we don't feel threatened by our partner's financial capacity today let's talk about this financial freedom let's talk about it right here on power talk to empower you in terms of matters concerning your finances and to my far right i am with none other than caroline mudama he she is a satisfied a certified financial advisor thank you thank how you, are you feeling i'm very well <laughs> i'm glad to be here thank you yes. and of course in the middle i am with the celestine junior a digital creator Kadusana celestine it's a pleasure uh you, do people call you celeste yeah. they call me Cele. Cele. Sure from, yeah Cele. yeah you have a very interesting neighbor brother <laughs> Asante. thank you very much thank you unique you need because you are too old and you are not young and you are not young and Celestine, mm. Pamela Riziki next to me. She is a motivational speaker. Can you stand up, Pam? How are you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm also doing well. Nice. Thank you so much, ladies and uh, gentlemen, for joining me today. And of course, we invite your presence from wherever you're watching us from. Remember, the hashtag, as always, is a Power Talk Show on Twitter. That is at Ram Aguko. That is my handle. Follow me on all social media platforms and at Y254 channel, which is the official station handle. Power Talk starts now. Let us know where you're watching us from. And of course, head over to our Facebook page, okay? And uh, ensure that you drop in your comment on our post that is on our Facebook page. And before you do that, follow the page, like the page. That's at Y254. As you drop in your comments, on the comment section below, even as talk about matters concerning your finances. Now, I want us to start with uh, first things first. And I will start with you, Carol. Um, even as talk about financial, uh, 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 how securing a, fin a safe financial future for yourself, is it possible for somebody to get something that is called financial stability by the age of 30? Yes, it is possible. Think about it again. Think yes. about it again. Yes, it is. By the age of, by the by age the age of, of 30, 30, yes. yes it financial is. stability. Yes. Tell you how. How? Um, depending on your income generation, we know that the young people have a lot of opportunities for generating income. Mm -hmm. And especially when it comes to this digital space and doing online business, the young people have hacked in that space. So mm -hmm. where somebody has already started generating income in their 20s, mm -hmm. you can be able to plan your finances so that by the age 30, you are financially stable. And what does financial stability mean? It means that while you have been working, let's say you've been working since the age 24, you have worked for six years. Mm. Every time you earn an income, you put something aside. And you put something aside that now starts generating for you income passively. You're saying you save. You save. Yeah. We start saving early. When we save, then we can be able to invest. And that is when the case we, where somebody is having a job by the age of 20. Where somebody is having income generation. We are, especially for the young people, and I'm sure Sele will agree with me, mm. there's something called the gig economy. That gig. The, gig. Mm. Gig. Mm. These guys have all sorts of gigs that they are doing. Mm. Anybody with, with a certain skill, 
from the age 23, by the time you have acquired a certain skill, you can be able to go online and be able to generate income. So it's not necessarily about jobs, mm -hmm. it's about income generation. Let me go to Saleh. You, yes. you, 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 you're, you're a student. Yes. yes right? Um, is, is it possible that, uh, I, I, I don't know how old you may be, uh -huh. and I'm not <laughs> going to go there, uh -huh. but is, do you think it's possible for somebody to get financially stable by the time they get to 30 years old? Do you agree with what she's saying? Uh, from my experience and mm. personal view, mm. tricky. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's it's kind of tricky. You know, uh, she's talked about saving, but you know, uh, in, in my age, uh, Tunaishi, we, we live and we say money comes and, and goes. So then, you, know, you get that money, mm -hmm. and when you get it, Iyo, the one that you're saying you put aside and save. Si raisi kusi. Si raisi. It's not really. Na kuna maloon sapo yivu mafawu. Hey, 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 it's not. So by 30, even with income generating, I'll need more information maybe. Yes. Yeah. Right now, that's, I don't That's know. the thing. The, the challenge is the information. A lot of our young people don't have the information. And that is why we are coming here. Okay. That is why we want to have these conversations with these young people. Uh -huh. Because putting money in the bank, for example, is not, is not the right way. We have options in our market that will allow Sele. When you go and you do your gig, mm. do you do gigs? Yeah, yes. Every young people, as long as somebody is out here in this age, uh, they are making income. Uh -huh. The issue is uh -huh. that that income is not being conserved. Whatever it is that is being generated is not being conserved through saving. And w if we just improve our saving culture, mm. then we can actually be able to, to increase uh, that possibility of uh, financial stability mm. by the time you're 30. you're 30. Let me come to you, Riziki. It's actually called financial literacy. That is what most young people don't, don't have. have. And not only young people. You know, um, there are so many people out here who do not actually understand matters, investments, you know, because when we talk about finances, we are, we are definitely uh, going to tap into investments. Because that is, you know, the way you spread that income, whatever you get, you know, because um, you're told that uh, out of the little that you get, however little it may be, mm. it is good for you to save. And that one should be number one, mm. you know, and make it to be your, it should be your culture. You get me, Sele? Mm. Like, for example, um, if you're renting out a house, you know, at the end of the month, you've got to do what? Period. Pay rent. Yes, yeah. right? Yeah. You know you've got to pay the water bills, you know you've got to do, you know, the, the, the electricity bills, right? Mm -hmm. So if you make your, your uh, savings to be part of your expenditures, then mm -hmm. you're on the right track. So there's, some, there, there's something that I want us to, to tackle, even as talk about saving. Mm -hmm. um, I do a little bit of reading, mm -hmm. just a little. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and there's this bit that I got, and mm -hmm. I, I don't know if... If, if you've encountered this, I'm sure you must have, mm. where in terms of percentage, there is a 50, is it 50, 30, 20? Mm. I don't know if you know what I'm saying. Yes. The 50, 30, 20 ratio mm. of your finances. Mm. Uh, maybe you can explain what that is, putting into consideration that Pamela said, that yes, we have so many things that, are, that need to be done, and saving is... She's timing that as an expenditure. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. yes. How, how does yes. It, yes. define that 50, 30, 20 thing? Um, what I can say mm. is that with every income that you generate, mm -hmm. first of all, uh, as, as before you even start spending, before you even start allocating that money 50, 30, 20, there has to be a budget. Mm -hmm. The basics, mm. the, and, the, a the and a realistic one. Yeah. And in fact, what I normally tell people is that we need to do a budget and then relook at that budget mm. and rationalize it. Mm. Yeah? Because the truth is, we will never, and I will use this word never, mm. there will never be enough resources. You cannot say you have enough money. You can never have yeah. enough money. <laughs> so let's, work the, let's start there. So yeah. unless there is a very deliberate budget, mm -hmm. yeah, mm. that is 
you you do the budget before the money comes yeah. so that when the money comes it has very specific spaces that it is being taken into mm -hmm. and that is where now we we come into the ratios and these ratios for me um, my 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 most um, the first thing that i normally tell people about the ratios that you work with mm. i think the ratios sometimes will vary mm. it varies it yeah. varies so, so, so it varies so define the 50 30 ratio does does that work Ama which ratio should we be working with for me what i normally tell people is that the first thing that you do when you get your income is first of all 20 percent goes into saving Whatever it is that you have gotten. Kama mm wampata -hmm. elfu kumi, toa kwanza elfu mbili. Yeah. Sele. Mm. Na usiweke kwa bank. Na usiweke kwa, kwa mobile nini. Mm. <laughs> Let's get a different uh, avenue yeah. for saving. And they are there. And we can be able to Quite explain. Okay. Quite a number of them. Mm. Which will not allow you to access that money too easily. Yeah. So 20% The rest of the 80%. Mm. Now let's start looking at what are the expenses uh, ngoja kwanza. Mm. Ngoja kwanza. yes how much should you save so let me come to you na kama budget imeshach kwa dio elfu mbili yeah wewe unaniambia ni save kama hiyo haiko eh let's now, start there um let me answer yeah. answer Sele. Yeah. you know savings it depends with you mm. you know do you have goals we begin from there. Mm -hmm. Because Celestine, True. if you do not have goals, then you will say, Iyo pesa yote yenye nimefanyia kazi, budget imekula, yote. Mm -hmm. But if you have well-set goals, mm -hmm. and when we talk about goals, we have uh, short-term goals and long-term long -term goals. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Like short-term goals should be maybe the goals that you want to achieve within maybe a year, but I would say five years and below, that is short term. Mm -hmm. uh, five years and above, I would say above five years, like eight, ten years, fifteen mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. that is definitely long term. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So these goals will definitely guide you. But now let me ask you, Riziki. Let me ask you, Riziki. Yes, you're, you're, you're talking about goals, goals, goals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. We will get back to the saving bit. Yeah. But now, one thing that we need to also put across. Mm -hmm. Many people, many youths don't talk about long-term goals. Mm -hmm. We are living by the day. Mm -hmm. Yolo. 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 You only live once. Right. <laughs> Which is not right. That is, this is the conversation that we need to have now. Mm -hmm. This is the, the perception or the philosophy of life we need to adjust. Exactly. Because if you do, if we do not change perspectives, mm -hmm. then we will not change our outcomes. So are we saying yes. that based on goals that we set, mm -hmm. then we should start saving? Yes. yes. Based on that, those goals. Yes. So Absolutely. Without those goals, those goals you cannot save. Yes. You know, if you don't know what you're what hitting. What are you saving for then? Yes. What, what do you want to achieve? If you have no target. Why are you putting that money aside? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if there is no target, ata sa ila mko kwa nini, mko kwa football match, yes. si kuna kuanga na, na, na ila ndiyo goal, goal hey. post, unajua goal post ziko hapa, mpira lazima igongwe ingie pale. Yes. So the first thing that we have to do is to have very clear goals. Mm -hmm. And, and, and Sela, it doesn't have to be big things. Yes. What I normally tell, and especially young people, mm -hmm. if you are, for example, uh, just starting out life, mm -hmm. yeah, and you need to buy a refrigerator for your mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. need thirty-five thousand shillings, yes. mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. When you are doing your income, mm -hmm. you do this gig one, gig two, gig three. You have to be telling yourself this gig one, mm -hmm. one thousand it's in your fridge. Mm -hmm. It's a short-term goal. Yeah. You need a fridge to be able right. to save mm -hmm. money. Now, now mm -hmm. let me ask you still mm -hmm. on that aspect of saving. Mm -hmm. Is twenty percent what someone may or all of us should be saving Not exactly. is it that it must be 20 percent let me let, let me get your feedback Sele, about, about that come on you save mm -hmm. feel how far can you go okay save how far can i go yeah okay um first of all uh, i want you when you guys are talking i mm -hmm. get the feeling that everyone can have this financial stability true true uh-huh that's kind of, I, I feel like it's also hard. I don't think everyone <laughs> can. I really don't think. Because uh, let's assume uh, someone is coming out of debt. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Or you're, you're in debt, Sindio. You're in debt. So yes. you're, you're in debt, example. Yes. yes. And you're a student, yes. Sindio. And so you have this and you're saving this 20% that we can save. Let's say the one that you're saving, 20%. Mm -hmm. So let's say you lock it away. Like any after one week, you're hungry. Hauna do? Hauna do, you don't Uba, have money. Nananja. So is it still saving for the future fridge or for the goal? How does it work? How do you go about that? And, 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 and I love that he has raised that pertinent question. Yes. Because now, should you save at the expense of, of, your, basics. Or of basic mm. needs? Mm. No. Uh, because they're talking about securing the no. future financially. No, no. We are not, uh, you have to be alive to, to, <laughs> to see the future. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. So my, 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 my recommendations normally are, okay. right? Mm -hmm. the, the biggest financial asset every one of us has is ourselves. My, me, myself, as an individual. Mm. It starts with me. Me, as Carol. Mm. I... I'm the person who will generate the income mm. so that I can, I can be able to, 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 to have that finan financial future, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So there has to be me, myself. So mm. what is it that I can do for myself to be able to generate more income? That's always where it starts. So the question is, because I have so many needs, I ask myself, what can I do to bring money to yes. satisfy all these needs? Yes. Hakuna kazi. Um, <laughs> say something. Yeah, 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 yes, yes, it is yeah. You know, he hakuna kazi. To me, it almost looks like an excuse. Trust me. Hmm. Why? Because hmm. for me, the number one thing is: Are you healthy? Are you okay? Hmm. You know, hmm. because even if you are disabled nowadays, even they know that disability is not inability. inability. And I can assure you that live alone akina celestine who are in campus and all that yeah we also have kids who are in primary schools who already know that there is something called savings like i remember there was a time i i, I wanted to take my car uh, to the car wash you know and my son told me together with my daughter they came and were like mom you know what we can clean this car and i was like then because mm -hmm. ile macho alini pair Definitely. It's your funny children. It's business. Okay. Yes. Then, then they were like, Uko, how much do they charge you? Because we are okay. Niki Peleka, Wakiosha, Inje, now Panguza and Dani, Panguza Pekeake, they'll take 500 go. Then they were like, yes, we can do this. <laughs> Give us the money. Imagine. You can do this. We can do this. So, mom, we are going to agree. Just give us one hour. Your car will be clean. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm. But you 500, una to pay. Mm -hmm. Na, mi na chukua 250, na ya na chukua nini? 250. 250. Yeah, so, now, as a mother, I'm like, hey, you people are in class, in class 7. Uh-huh. So, you 250, na enda? My daughter brought like a small, um, it was actually likuwa ka, ka mkebe ka, ka peanut butter. Alikuwa mepaka, unoneo kifunikuwa mepaka super glue na kafunga. Na katengeneza kashimo hapo. Ya kweka pesa. Ya kweka pesa. Na kaniambia, ini savings yake. How old? Wow. Class she's seven, 12. Must be so okay. Wow, the yeah, pressure. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure. <laughs> pressure. <laughs> the pressure. The pressure. Let me tell you, yeah. things have got to move yes. either way. Mm. Mm. To me, saving has nothing to do with jobs. Ah, yeah. I, 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 I want us to... It all depends with the skills from, uh -huh. so long as you have your hands, mm. you have your legs, uh -huh. your eyes are there, trust You can me, generate income. You can generate income. You can generate income. Mm -hmm. I, I want mm -hmm. to give a, my own personal story. All right, go ahead. Go what ahead. I yeah. did uh -huh. when I was... Uh, the My age thing. that you guys are in. Mimi nilikuwa naenda gekomba. Na nunuwa mashati. Mashati za wanaume. Mashati na matrao. Unana wakina ramaguka masonko wako kuivi. Hawananga time ya kuenda place kama gekosh. Sindio? And they need good quality shirts. We need good shirts. You go, you get those shirts, you wash them, you iron them, you package them nicely. Uli nunuwa so tatu. Ukuivi utamuitisha so tisa. Pesa. 
Pesa. Yes. Pesa. Mm. Fanya times 10. Times 10, 9000. 9000. Mm. Uko na pesa ama una do? Uko na do. <laughs> uko na do. <laughs> so <laughs> what are we saying? Mm. Uh, there's there's that. Yes. There's jewelry for women. Yes. Mm. And they sleep. Mm. Ama handbags. I know girls who go to Uganda. Mm. Apart, I don't understand that whole story, mm. but handbags are cheaper in Uganda mm. than in Kenya. Kenya. Mm. So you go there by Una panda basi ya Kampala shui overnight. Yes. Una lipanga sao tatu. Mm. Ukirudi hivi umebeba mzigo. Mm. Na I can tell you for a fact how to cost your kusanya 10,000. Anza kwanza na, na mashati kusanya 10,000, chukua 10,000 enda Kampala as in if we only were to use our creativity yes Smart. to be able to mm. generate income right, as a right. young person mm. we can be able to do this and also if no, 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 i no. can add up to your story of creativity ram yeah you're a student yes in your class how many are you many you're yeah, many, many right many, yeah. very many. out of that, uh, that big number that is in that classroom mm. there is what they need you need to you identify know, like, identify mm. what is the need of where i am the people around me, what could they be in need of? Mm -hmm. uh, they're students. Maybe they would need pens, you know? Yeah. Maybe they need uh, writing materials, those stationaries. You can have them with you and you just stand Darasani and you say, hi guys, in case you need stationaries, I have pens, I have notepads, I have, you know, notebooks and all that. Ata kama utanza tu nakumi. Ama ata tu tano umebeba kwa kwa kabangu kako. Zitaisha, zikiisha, you talk. I want us to move on to something mm -hmm. else. Even mm -hmm. even as we talk about the 20%, to uh, to that 20% save of what you've got. Yes. Yes. Now, um, what happens to the other 80% um, that uh, you get from your money? What do you do with it? It goes into the other budgetary items. Right? Okay. So in your, in your budget, mm -hmm. there are living expenses. Lazima mm ukule. -hmm. Lazima move, lazima kama uko, okay, I know there, there are still some of us who are in our 20s who have families, isn't you? Mm -hmm. they, we have young families. Mm -hmm. So maybe there's some school fees to be paid. So that is what we need to be able to allocate uh, to the other needs, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. I want, I want, um, I, I don't know, I don't know exactly when we say 30, 50. Mm. For me, what I know is that the first 20% must be hived off into savings. But Ram, 30-50, in your opinion, what is 30-50? Because mine is 20% mm. goes. Then so, the, so, rest, so the rest, the yeah. rest needs to oh, be... Jipange oh, uh, uh, A point of correction. Mm. Uh. Uh, on this one, I'm speaking as a Christian. Yes. Mm. Yeah? For us Christians, yeah, number one actually should not even be the savings. Number one should be tight. 10%. 10%. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Yo yo niya, una peleka then, you have Then, you have 90. So, 90 minus 20. 20. So, you have 70. Yo 70 kula. Correct. Yo 70, not panga, kula. Panga kwa ile panga budget. According to the order of yo, priority. Yes. And also, you must ensure that you live within your means. Your means. Now, um, the reason why I was bringing that part of rationing, um, and, and I'm glad that we are talking about living within your means. Mm. Somebody gets a salary, a man a gig. Rent peke isha kula yo three quarter. Rent peke, three quarter simenda. The the other quarter loan, anado. So ina bidia chukua loan ingine. Survive. Could survive. Which is very dangerous. So you pay a loan to, to get very, a loan very dangerous. to survive. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. So, so, or, or, before, let me come to Celeste. Mm. Let me come to Celeste. <laughs> <laughs> um, Celeste. <laughs> What are you going to do Because I'm not going to do it. What do you think about this? this, this Culture for youths, ya kukopa, ya kukopa. You know, maleni, mobile apps, 
Una, kila kila saa aki, unajua tu wengine simu ikivibrate unajua mm. hiyo watu wanamdai tu ndio mm. hautaki kushika hautaki mm. kushika so so let me get kama nne kama nne hivi you you thought about the, the youth culture of mm. of borrowing mm. and the youth culture of not actually paying loans mm. and not actually getting money to even service all these loans mm. what do you think about that number one uh, we are not financial literate. That's the first thing. Uh -huh. From everything you guys have talked, I have learned so much already. So much, so many things and yeah, seek why I consider. And when it comes to learning, I won't lie to you, it's really necessary sometime. You know, we look. get at a certain age, wazazi awataki stories ako. So the gigs come. You can't mm. ask money from your parents. You start going for gigs. But as you go for gigs, you have this zinaitwaje sasa easy ex mahitaji unaona ah wenzako wanaenda out wewe una save this weekend how when the out next weekend ukienda out let's say unalipiza since this weekend au kuenda you double unafanya times 2 times 2 sasa hapo ndio normal hiyo pesa ile ni ni save last week ni save last week inaisha inaisha this year Unaona <laughs> na uwezi taka uh, miss uh, kila I like, I like I like his honesty yeah. uh, that is that, that is true that, that is true that is very Pe true many people are suffering because uh, because of that yeah. because, because of the culture to be honest yeah mm, if if you guys think it's possible for everyone to get out of that yeah. let's say mm. that's very nice because mm. sioni mm. do, do you think that it is possible for a young man mm. to get out of loans and even out of crb at the end of the day CRB yeah. you know alifika CRB jo ali chukua namba ingine yeah. alitupa ile maybe I, yeah. to be honest it's hard okay. i can say let, 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 let me just give uh, give you guys an idea mm -hmm. because i have had a conversation with a with a young person mm. 26 year old very recently a young lady so she tells me that her income is 45000 akona job and alipo 45k mm. right lakini all the debt that she has is 300,000. And and they iko kwa 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 na amesha listiwa CRB kwa sababu alienda kwa app moja akakosa kulipa I mean and the story is that you have an income of 45k but you have consumption debt. You don't borrow 300 300,000. Oh, wow. Okay? So my advice mm. to these young people is consolidate debt. The first thing that you have to do, what do you mean when find you a way of consolidate debt. What do you mean? Let me explain. Ah. So you have a pay slip. Mm -hmm. Ama at least uh, your gigs. Now, number one, if you're in the gig economy, make sure you can account your bank. Yeah, not, not, uh, I'm sure M-Pesa is a good one, but open a bank account. Mm. Make sure when you get paid, you have activity in that account. Pesa unekanga pale kweli bank, right? The banks are easier and are more friendly in terms of even interest rates than the apps. The apps are killing the young people because the rates on the, on the loans on the apps mm. are very high. Mm. All right? Mm -hmm. So my advice is, first of all, make sure that you have a bank account. Let's start there. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So you have to have a plan. You have, uh, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a philosophy that I call school of money. In the school of money, if you're in debt, you have to charge at your debt the way a buffalo charges. Relentless, single-minded, focused. If you are to be financially stable, you must charge at debt. So consolidate debt. That's where we start. You have a bank account. Build a trust with the bank. And how you build trust with the bank is making sure that there are deposits constantly. They can see a history. So let me in ask you, six Carol. months... Let me finish. Yeah. In six months, mm. they can be able to give you a lump sum to say me hundred thousand, mm. right? To mm. call hundred thousand, the loudest of these crazy debts, lipa wachana nayo. So you have reduced the number of of creditors to one bank, to the bank, and maybe two others. 
who you can manage. So you first have to classify your debt. Angalia, the loudest, the most expensive, the ones that are threatening to call your grandmother. You know those crazy things that are happening on... <laughs> and, 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 and the loudest is the one who's threatening to call your grandfather. Yes. Your yes. And, and, and great ancestors. And, and ancestors. They will call everybody. They will track... You. We have had those crazy So in other words, you said, you know, a transfer loan from the app... <laughs> Yende kwa bank. Enda kwa bank. Yende kwa bank. So, unalipa bank. Unalipa bank. Why am I saying that? Because generally, the banks being structured and regulated, they cannot charge very high interest rates. Okay. Like, the, mm -hmm. like the apps are doing. All right. Let me, let, let, let me come to you, Celeste Bado. Mm -hmm. Do you think Sumo ya analipa ana earn 45k mm. na kuna loan mingi sana? Ugekua mm -hmm. wewe? Mm. Ungejipanga aje na yu apu? Uwe, susa, kwanza alifika aje miya 300,000. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's where it all starts. Yeah. You know, uh, I, uh, to be honest, yeah. asa, uh, maybe afanye kazi bila kulipo wa... Uh, well, uh, to be honest, maybe we do that. What yeah. she is talking about, which I never knew, by the way. Loan your bank. Loan your bank, mm. you could save kwa hizi ngini. Mm. But otherwise, kama msia kona job ina mlipa 45k, I come uh, I recommend Anze to live within their means when you mesema. Mm, I don't mm. think building a loan had 300k. Unajua unajua kuna watu wakufuliza. Okay. Yaani yeah. una 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 unamtumia una pesa. <laughs> Umetuma kwa na mambaya. Imekulwa. <laughs> 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 yes, please. Kati na kwa vijana na youth eh? There is this thing ambayo ina, ina push ama youth kufika yu 300k because you know you are a youth and you are wondering mm. alifika aje kwa yu 300k. Mm. Ni kuli beyond yu. your means. Living beyond your means mm. and peer pressure. Mm -hmm. Unona, mm. wanting True. to to belong to a certain uh, category mm. or ama group of students, mm. ama wanting to be like so and so, or, when you know mm. very well it is not yet your time to belong mm. there. Mm. Are you getting me? Mm. So peer pressure is one thing that youth should really try to curb. Mm. And after peer pressure, we go to discipline. Remember, a loan is a loan. Whether of low interest or high interest. If you do not have a discipline of paying back, trust me, at a bank, out a lipa, alafu kwa madhako, vitu zenda zibebwe. Flat screen yake, kila kitu yake, because at the end of the day, Kutaendaje. Auctioneers. Auctioneers wana kuja kuchukua vitu. Mm. You get. So, to me, discipline is is very, very vital here. Unona? And then, number two, wewe ukienda kuchukua hii loan, unu kuna chukua ya nini? Mm. Ime meet ile need. objective yako. Mm. Ime meet ile need yako. Mm. Let's say, for example, sa hii tumeko, ume, umeambiopa hivi, uneza inda kikomba, ukachukua matisha, kalikali zile malebo, mm. ukaenda ukaosha, ukapiga pasi, Una get, uka package vipoa, kitu enyu ulipata na 300, unindu unuza na sotisa, ama ata na thao. Mm. Right? Mm. Now, you want to start that business. Mm. Then you think of getting a loan. Mm -hmm. Sindio? Mm. Ume get loan ya, ya, ya let's say 15k. Mm. Uende kikomba ubaizi vitu. Sasa, wewe, i 15k mbono ukose kulipa. Kama uliendo ukabai, mm. eh? Mm. Venye tu amepigisha esabu hapa. Kona maybe pemiru umetengeneza 18,000. Mm. Sinu mm. Out of this 18,000, out of 18,000, maybe uliko mechukua 10K. Mm. Mini nume make profit ya 8K. Mm -hmm. Why don't you pay ile 10K? Mm -hmm. Unona? Because the more you pay, the more your limit goes up. Mm. Unona? Mm. And then you know very well, kwa hii profit yako, mm. unafaku manage kubuild capital, unafaku lipa ile loan, na pia unafaku kula. Ni budget Ni budget na discipline Budget na discipline Now let's talk I want us to move to something else Because now there's so many things we need to touch on at the same time Wow wow I love how this discussion is Wherever you're watching us from engage with us Participate in this show The hashtag is part of show Let us know what you think about these issues that we're discussing here I want us to talk about this young man who is in campus Or this young lady who is in campus And is in a relationship that is demanding Financially Relationship that is demanding Demanding Now for campus Now for campus Campus no, no, we, are, we are looking at a lady who is, uh, yeah, yes, we're talking about becoming uh, 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 or securing a safe financial future. How can somebody who is in campus dating 
and this relationship demands money lazima mpeleka out lazima ufanye vitu mingi lazima lazima sio lazima ai let me girls these days ladies what in this age you know i feel like we've talked about peer pressure stuck mm. at up yeah. and when you take my instagram my tiktok you go people are flying people mm. are going out people are doing things Taking you know pictures in front of mercedes and, and mercedes. big big brands <laughs> eh hey, range rover range rover but the pressure you see the pressure you see uh -huh. and as a man you know uh women like good things mm. and it's not like we are getting pressure from the women themselves if i have a friend let's say my good friend here yeye anapeleka girlfriend wake out wapi mansions na take places poor nini nini na wanatupostia wanatuwekea hapo instagram tuone cha unaona pia wewe girlfriend wako anakuambia kitu kama nini unaona nani alipelekwa you see the price unaona penye loan ya 300000 in is that okay yeah you yeah. see yeah. so you you go and you start you 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 have this girlfriend so in a bidi yaki got birthday yaki nafika you know how to be my birthday is next week my birthday is next Tunenda week una nipeleka wapi eh nipeleka wapi eh nataka tu kuenda anataka flowers chocolates gifts chocolates gifts na bestie wake pia la na road trip na best na road trip kwa naivasha kwa naivasha ninaanza kama he dating na he relationships mm. are costing you so much eh uh, you know in every situation in life I, I believe in always being very open usiwahi ingia kitu kama umefunga macho kama unapenda msee like kama unapenda kama unampenda kama unampenda na anakupenda surely kama anakupenda i don't see somebody who loves you wanting to throw you into a pit So in upendo kweli let's start there hakuna upendo and and then there's 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 first things first first things first I, for me i believe that we should be very honest with ourselves is compass the place for you to be dating but love chooses you nilisikia hivyo let me ask Celeste let me ask this question you listen love chooses you as in inakukula ama inakuchagua au inakuchagua it chooses you 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 anasema you fall in love you you fall in love you find somebody and you fall completely in love you know and they are not let's say financial both of you are not financial literate now Celeste let me let me ask you um You've seen and interacted with many people who are in campus. Yes. As a digital content creator, yeah, I'm yeah. sure you get a lot of information. Yeah. So here we are seeing two campus kids mm. both not working. Mm -hmm. One may depend on a parent mm -hmm. to get pocket money once a week or every single day depending on how rich they may be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the parents, how the much parents. money? Yes. <laughs> the parents are. The parents are. Uh, um how do campus kids survive and do you think that relationships at campus should just be put on hold ndio mfanye kitu baadaye ama how should they survive in campus uh, number one, if you're in a relationship my personal views no yes. not from any of you yeah. uh, my personal view uh, i think you may find someone that you really you really like unaona but kuna pressure zingine zenye kama hauwezi survive itabidi tu mwambie me i really like you but i cannot 
afford. Exactly. You Stand see, that's where I can say. And then yeah. if the lady, come away with them, if she'll still like you, you know, and she still wants to, you know, continue, maybe you guys can push. No, no, but they've said it's with those kind of dynamics. So when the lady could date, so, the mm. the, the, mm -hmm. yes. I, I don't think they live. You know, love is very strong. Let me not lie to you. There are some friends who talk about how many of them are going to be able to do it. How many of them are going you know, mm, mm. I just think if both of them can be smart in that, they all want to make money, they all want to be financial literate, mm. I think they can grow. So, in my mindset, I was Chana, Afdali Kulia Kwenye Land Rover. Hey. Kuliko Kucheka. The only problem with that is there are people who have money. As campus boys, we don't have money like other people. You see, so so with people with money, utapata tu uliwachwa wake. Uliwachwa kwa ma, uliwachwa kwa matake ingia kwa Range Rover. Mm, na wababas. Na wuna toa loan. Na by the way, na kimoja nige penda kukorekt. Ku, ku mm. mm. History ya love na do, it's not just about my boys. Mm -hmm. Do you know that even, even, even ladies go through that? Mm -hmm. You love someone, Mwenye ameku blindfold na iyo love yake, <laughs> na ni lazy, that guy cannot get anything for himself and he cannot do anything. We have girls who are in, in such let me, situations. Let, let, let me ask you, Riziki. Mm. Should people who are in campus just not date because they don't have the money? No. One thing we, we need to know is that dating is not about money. Ah. Dating, to me, you are, it's like you've mm. started the journey mm -hmm. of okay. trying to identify a life, a, a life suitable time. partner. A yes. suitable partner. Mm. All right. Mm. I want us to take a short break. Mm. I want us to take a short break. <laughs> After this break, we'll be back. And <laughs> I want us to take this discussion to the next level. And after this, tell me, what do you do when you are now, let's move forward. What do you do when you are in need or you want to get into marriage na kuna do we are talking about securing what? a financial future after campus <laughs> <laughs> what do you do and of course I, I i invite everybody wherever you are to keep engaging with us we're taking a short break we'll be back with more right here on power talk Why two five four? Concerning your finances, right here, uh, I'm seeing so many uh, comments on our Facebook platform. And uh, Timothy, if you come as Kotari, you can bring them up once once you're ready. You let me know about uh, uh, what you think as you continue this discussion. Head over to our Facebook page, like the page, follow us on all social media platforms, and of course uh, there is uh, uh, a post there. Drop in your comments on this on the comment section and uh, let us know where you're watching us from. Okay, also follow me at Ramaguko, which is my handle, and of course, this is Power Talk. Welcome back. I'm with Caroline Sele and uh, Riziki to help us in this discussion. It's on fire, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, before we went on that break, we were talking about campus relationships and how they affect us financially. And uh, I want us to wrap that part up just in a bit. I have a final word about Mambaya dating in campus and Mambaya Pesa. Let me start with you, and then before I move on to the next discussion, uh, 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 Caro. Um, my view on young people dating while in campus mm. is that it has to be very honest. If you must date, there has to be honesty so that uh, there's no one person who is uh, getting out of their affordability to impress the other mm. and and and, and mm. it's okay to date but there, it has to be intentional dating it cannot be random All because right. then mm. uh, there, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, uh, so far what i've learned is saving is possible mm. uh, being uh, young and in campus and in debt does not mean you cannot get out of debt. It does yeah. not mean you cannot find your financial stability. Mm -hmm. You just need to have clearly specific defined goals mm -hmm. that you can uh, 
save while you're looking out and charge up. Mm-hmm. I, I want to get your thoughts about relationships as a couple. Asa niende kwa relationship. Your relationship, you are kampo hiyo. You are kampo hiyo inalemea watu mtu anapera loan za 300k. Oh my goodness, now that is very tricky. Okay, when you're in campus, hey, tricky, tricky. And nimeambiwa kuna wasichana wengi red flags. Uh, and I've also been told even men, mm. men yeah. are also red flags. Mm-hmm. So you need to watch out for who you are dating. Mm-hmm. Necessarily. Kwa ni mse, unaweza grow na eh financial. Otherwise kama doe inaenda to eh mm-hmm. tunaumia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Men are suffering. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you know there are very many challenges in this time and age with everything that we have. So like people want to do a lot of things. Okay. Aha, uh-huh. Rizeke? Um for me I think all I can say is that um if the lady you are dating or the man you're dating they are not manageable you know then to me there's no you're heading you know because if it's about uh, uh, about uh, draining the other person you know to me a relationship is all about us coming together and working to, towards our well set goals mm. goals which are achievable mm. but if it's just about kwenda kurev and kukuva kukunywa and all that then there's no way we are going we are just party maniacs <laughs> at a couple of goals the instagram party maniacs very important to kumbuke to kumbuke by the way kama kuna kitu ni dangerous na story of financial freedom mm. it's trying to keep up with the joneses yeah. run your race Mm-hmm. Everybody has their own individual risk. Yes. Your realities are your realities. Run your risk. Yeah. And of course even as we are talking about this, w- <coughs> she said run your race. Mm. In your race, how far have you gone? <laughs> yes. How is your race? Kila mtu akona na kimbio yake. Ask your question. Ire si yako. Have you even started? Have you? Ama bado una warm up. Uko hapa hivi. Uko hapa unajiandaa. from home. On your mark. I want to get you because gentlemen and, and, and let me look at the men today. Men. Men. I waiting for the camera to come to me. Men. <laughs> Talk to me. I am your brother. Unaumia wapi? <laughs> unaumia wapi? We have financial advisors here. Unaumia wapi? You are in campus, you have no no clue what to do. You are a lady, you mm-hmm. want to look for sugar daddies. Unaumia wapi? Mm-hmm. Where is your race? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How far mm-hmm. are you in your race? Mm-hmm. Anyway, before we start preaching here, let's move on to the next uh, 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 agenda. I'm looking at somebody who wants to get married. Hana do. We are talking about securing a financial future. Hana do. Marriage is something that is a lifetime commitment. What should they do? Let me start with you, uh, K- uh, K- Caroline. Hana do. <laughs> I'm stuck there. Mm. Hana do. The, 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 as, as I said earlier, mm. and, and as Pam has said, the whole idea of mtu kukuwa hana pesa saingine is an excuse. True. True. is an excuse mm. there are opportunities mm. all of us have opportunities we live in kenya mimi na kenya ni ile ile hakuna mali kwenye hakuna opportunity there is something you can be able to do to be able to generate an income now by the time umefika mali kwenye umefika i'm sure there is a support system sometimes you have to tap into your support system to start off mm. so that now you start generating <coughs> income Um, marriage is lifelong marriage is a journey first of all it starts with what are the things you look at in a spouse you've already identified you have selected somebody can you come together come up with an income generation strategy sababu lazima pa kuna income generation now if the both of you feel as if you've not yet become financially stable should you get into marriage and this question goes to you sale actually <clears throat> many of people many of the people my age don't want to get married wow well, why i don't know uh, but marriage uh, for those who are taking it seriously i don't think it's possible without money 
But for the people who don't want to get married, I think it's because of the divorce rates and how people are losing money when after the divorce. After the divorce. Yeah. Child support. Child support, easy stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think it's all about what she's talking about. You get into relationships, let's say when you're not even ready financially, uh, then in Africa Kombele and you realize this is not the person. Mm. Uh, then when you in Africa Hapo, in a BD as a young couple, and I'm not talking about uh, big couples, I'm talking about people and friends who have seen mm. get into relationships and two years later they're out. They're out. Because like a marriage, two years later you're out. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah, and they're young. They say I still have time, I'll get someone else. And they get a divorce and still young. And they it, it, it's up. I mean, it, it's happening. Even it's COVID. happening. <laughs> it's true. But but uh, Ram, let me interject. Uh -huh. I I think it's a combination of issues, and Pam may agree with me. I, mm -hmm. I don't think it's a financial mm -hmm. issue. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let, let, let's let's focus on that aspect of finances, mm. where we are seeing somebody who is trying to get into marriage and is not financially stable because of course there are, there's, there's a myriad of issues that, that lead to breakup mm. right but let's mm. talk about that aspect only oh the finances okay the okay. finances yeah. but you're saying it's mm -hmm. it's 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 a, a, it's a cocktail of issues uh -huh. in my in my opinion okay. mm. but okay. yeah yes, we can okay. focus on well finances. according to me mm. you are trying to get into marriage or you're planning to get married and you do not have money mm. so for me what comes number one is do you two people know each other very well you know, because if you know each other very well, or rather, Ram, when you talk about marriage, what do you mean? Do you mean a wedding or do you mean people coming together? Because that is where most of the youths lost it, they lose it. Because eh? mm. you're thinking of a wedding, uh, it's called a white wedding. Una come up na budget ya 2 million, ama 3 million, ukiwa na ode miyako, na nini wa wili ya muna do, plan zenyu, whether you get a loan, Ngoja, you know what you find your hand like you open a door. When I get to kill it, I go committee say Ram. No, 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 I love I love how everyone in the studio is just attentive. Yes, so so Pamela, yes. Let, let, let me get it from you. Um there's one thing that I really need you to say directly and yes. clearly. Yes. Black and white. Mm -hmm. Someone, if someone doesn't have money, was funny a rusi was an story kwanza. Listen, Ram. If you, you know, remember, marriage is not an emergency. We must agree on that. Yes, it's mm. Or is it? Mm. No, it isn't. It's, it's not, not an emergency mm. like, like we need an ambulance to, mm. to rush somebody to the hospital. Mm. Unona? Mm. So, and there are also so many types of marriages. Kumbuka, muneza shikana muende kwa eji, na malizeo story huko. Na muito wazazi wenyu, na mwinge kwa hao, na mpike ugali, mm. na kamaini, na mraruwe na mmalize na maji na lefi ya ndele ya baja jilikuwa na ujitange. Seleska, that sounds cheaper, but can you go to, for that? Who, who is won't? they? Who are they? And what People are they bringing? <laughs> 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 so listen. I'm fighting for the women. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, so let's <laughs> fight. <laughs> yes. Atakuliza mimi ni kule maya nini ugali. On my, my wedding, wedding day. Mm. And I was make it okay. <laughs> Celestine, I want this. I want to say it, and I'm saying it straight on the cameras. Uh, that is your camera there. Oh, my camera is this no, one. You. Okay. Talk to it. Talk to that. Hey, listen, ladies. If you think you want a white wedding, please don't push this guy to the wall. How much are you bringing on the table? Thank you. How much are you bringing on the table? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you say that all oh, are Rusiako, people should not eat ugali. Then provide the cake. But don't let a young man in the Kwa Madeni. And you, Mr. Young Man, you want to marry. Also, don't just sit there and depend on them on the lady. You know? Because we also have men who are ana, anakuja na kwambia, I wish to marry you. And end up on the river road and okota kapete. Anakuja na kneel down. Ma anajua vizuri sana. Hana kitu. Hana kitu. Hana do. I don't afford anything. Alafa na kushoni aje msupa. 
So kwa hiyo job yako si unaweza chukua ka loan kama ka, ka mita moja hivi tufanye hiyo wedo. My friend, no. young people, I'm Kenny. Okay. You are a kind of. So let's so, so think about what, what they are saying. Do you agree with the, the things they say? I, I don't know if I can ask personal questions. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. No problem. Okay. Can women really marry broke men? Like if he goes on his knees and you know he's broke, will you really say yes? Of yeah. course, of, of course, course. I'm here. I want to tell you. Celestine, I want to tell you this. Tell and me. as I speak to some young men and some young women out there, I want to tell you, yes, I can marry a broke man, but not broke in the head. Okay? Mm. If you're broke as in one at a door as at that time, I will take it. Mm -hmm. But I will not take it at sasa juni nilisema yes, kazi yako ni kulala kwa sofa uki watch TV, mimi kienda kuhasol. My dear friend, akuna mtu maskini. Maskini ni ule mwenye kwa kitanda hosi. Let me, let me, let me get it from Karol, yeah. yes. Yeah, I agree with Pam. Mm -hmm. Can a young lady, beautiful, Maria Brooke guy? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. The answer, sahizi hauna pesa. Yes. But as long as it is not poverty of ideas. Exactly. Where you don't have poverty of ideas, you mm -hmm. don't have poverty of, of vision. Mm -hmm. You know, let me tell you, mm -hmm. um, a good woman mm -hmm. is not looking for money. Mm. A good woman is looking for a visionary man. Yes. A man who will lead mm. with a vision. Yes. So you as a man, leo hauna pesa. Mm -hmm. Lakini uko na plan. Yes. Uko na mpango. Are the plans in place? Are the plans in place? Have you started working on your plan? Now, because I want us, I want us mm. to, 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 to go to Facebook. Yes. He, he sorry, Najwa, is fire. <laughs> <laughs> His motto is fire. <laughs> Let's go to Facebook and see what people are saying. Mistari Waziri and, uh, 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 is saying, following the show, thank you so much, Mistari. Eliza Gishira and some watching from Kirinyaga, our town, where I must say, fire, fire. Uh, this is Isaac Mailani and some good morning. I'm watching from Buteria. How can you secure a financial future by one, budget your expenses and plan and start investing in long-term goals? Thank you so much. Wafula son and some keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Wafula. Louis Klaus, Klaus, and I say, uh, hi, I have a girlfriend and I'm the one working. Nikilip Wapesa, who went a rent na shopping, after there, I don't have anything to save. What should I do to ensure I have, I, I save because I earn 24,000 shillings? Wow, that's, I, a, that's I, a good question. That's a good question. That's Let a very good question. Study, was in summer. Aki, this campus ladies give us sleepless nights. <laughs> when it comes to money, more so taking tourism and management. <laughs> yeah. Why are you attacking people taking tourism and management? At Aurora Squad, tourism and management of Meshinda wa Kitudanganya ati tunafaa kwenda Mombasa Mara Kisumu. You're Meshinda. Okay. Let's answer Lewis. Pale, he's earning 24,000. Uh, do, do you have more comments, uh, Nani? Uh, I'm a... I proceed. Okay, so let's answer uh, Lewis. And I say, hi, I have a girlfriend and I'm the one working. Nikilipa Pesa, it goes to the rent and shopping. After that, I don't have anything to save. What should I do to ensure that I save? Because I earn 24,000 shillings. All of you, to say, dear Lewis, Apa. Okay. Who, who would like to go first? I'll go. All right. Um, when we talk about budget, a budget has to be rationalized. Yeah with your realities. Mm -hmm. So Lewis, anaishi wapi, analipa, iyo rent ni pesa ngapi? Mm. Analipia demo wake rent. Ame, analipia, analipia, analipia yake na analipia, analipia ame amesema, amesema yeah. yeah, ndiyo na work, yeah. mm. lakini akona girlfriend. Yes. Mm. So akilipa rent, I'm imagining that rent ni yao. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sindio? So it's about kufit budget yako within your expenditure anaishi wapi mm. kama re, kama unaweza kupata nyumba ambayo iko cheaper mm. ndio create a bit more disposable income that is where we start mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so ni ku budget within that amount na ku make sure at least kuna pesa ya ku save kwa hiyo 24k that's mm. what i would say all right aha uh, -huh. uh celeste ebu ongea ka mwanaume put yourself in uh, uh, in the shoes of lewis mm -hmm. and earn 24000 i have a question mm. Wakihama, let's say, anaishi place analipa 11,000, then Lewis moves. This question goes to you. Uh, 
Then Lewis moves to a house, let's say cheaper, 8,000. But do atakuwa na girlfriend? I think what Celeste is trying to say, and, and, and it's been coming out during this discussion. Mm. Standards. You're trying to say that women have some standards. There are standards. And, and if you don't meet those standards, uh -huh. there's a problem or they will leave you. That's what you're trying to say. It is true. You know, okay. when you say we're in the dating cycle and people are looking for people to marry, and we unahamu ukirudi chini, maybe this guy is not the one. As I said, and I would say, mm -hmm. yeah. then that girl is not the one. Mm -hmm. So hame, she's not the right mm -hmm. one. And mm -hmm. to Maisha, mm -hmm. push. Mm -hmm. So the, okay. I'm mean, saying that if that's the case, that's yes, the she's not the right. She's, she's not, not the right one. one. So that is it. Because dump if she her. dump mm -hmm. her with immediate effect, effect yes, mm -hmm. drop her like a hot potato, you know. Yes. Because, because you will find another one. Yes. Mm. Who will fit within now, your... Now, now, mm. I, I, I want to talk about this, sorry, because I'm at a party, a very, I, I think there's, there's a reason why Lewis has particularly mentioned the salary. There's mm. a reason. Mm. Mm. E24,000. Mm. Let's budget for Lewis. Okay. Um, for me, what I would advise Lewis is, number one, mm. lazima kwa i budget yake, ata cut down. Mm -hmm. Na aende na order of priorities. Mm. Uh, ata hapa kwa rent, mm. kama ana, anapata 24k, alafu anaenda anaishi kwa hawa ya 14,000, it's not making sense. So rent inafai kwa ya dongapi? To me, kama niyo 24, mm. wacha uh, rent yake icheze between 35 to 5k. Ata kama ni single room, anzie hapo. Mm. You get it. Mm. Then number two, when it comes to the shopping, akisema shopping, anongelelea. Kwa zunedua neza kwa anasema shopping, na anongelelea kuenda kubai ma foundation za udem, you know, mm. SG foundation na ma lipstick na manini. To me, all those things are unnecessary. Una get? Mm. Mm. So, the next thing, ni angali hapa kwa food. Una shika? Mm. Lakini before ata aende kwa food, wewe Lewis, anitwa Lewis, mm. kwa yodo unapata 24K, 2,400 si ya kopeleka church. Tumebaki na how much? Tumebaki na... Na 22. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. Yes, 22,600. 22, 22, Aya, kwa hitu, 22,600, ukona doza rent, toa 4K ama 5K, eka kwa rent. Number two, Lewis, chukua ata kama ni personal pension plan. Nowadays, pension plans, si lazima ikuwe locked ati ni ya kampuni. You can do a personal pension plan, na ukuna save ata kama ni 2,000 every month out of that money. Mm. Because uki save 2,000 every month, at the end of the year, Atakuwa na how much? 24, na atakuwa na 24. Mm. Hii 24 anaeza anzisha na yo nini? Kabiyashara. Right. Uh -huh. Karolan, yeah. do you have anything to say before we move to the next thing about uh, Lewis? I, I agree with Pam. Mm. First of all, hafai kuli parent more than 5,000. Yeah. Right? Because maximum of the amount that you should pay into rent should be 34. 30-35% of what you're earning. Yeah. That's the maximum that you should be putting so to rent. So, so 35%, 30%. 30 to 35%. Should be rent. Going to rent. Mm. So 30% of 24, to me money? Ni pesa ngapi? Ebu tuangalia. Mm. 22,600. Tumitua time. 2,400 in your time. Mm. Okay. Mm. pesa ngapi? Anyway, that's what I'm saying. And then, the next thing that you do, as Pam is saying, save. So, personal pension plan, uh, money, market, ma money, market money market funds. Money market funds. We have opportunities for mm. you to put aside. Once you have paid your, your rent, I mean, you have paid your tithe, you've paid your rent, you've saved. Ile mm. yenye uh, find uh, affordable shopping. Because we yes. have some so rent is 30%, kama ni sana, mm. of which of 24,000. Mm. So you are looking at 7,200. Maximum. Mm. Maximum. Yes. 7K. Mm. But uh, Pamela, you, you mentioned, atakani single K. room, 5K. Mm. 5K. We recommend 5K. Kwa bado atalipa maji, na atalipa stima. Na kama ni mtu mwenye wa squeeze, pia kuna wifi. Ndiyo hiyo sasa. So, si na chai kumshow, asipite within your budget yake. I, I, I want us to move to the Na pia atafte side hustle. I don't say, say mm. um, Find another way of generating more income. Yes. I, I'm told time is not on our side. Mm. Wow, we've not touched so many on so many things. Mm. We need to. Timothy, we need to have part two of this. <laughs> we need to have part two of this. Part two, and then and then we talk about people who are married now. Mm. So those who are married, how can they have a secure financial future? My or oh mine? Anyway.
let's wrap it up. Let's bring this discussion to a close. Mm -hmm. And not to give each one of you time, one minute, to have a final word. To talk to that Kenyan watching you today, just a piece of advice. Okay? Let me start <coughs> with uh, uh, you, uh, Pamela. One, one, one minute each, and then we wrap it up. What is your parting shot? You can look at the camera there. Um, ladies and gentlemen, having a finan uh, financial stability is very much possible. And it all begins with you and it ends with you. Remember, with God, nothing is impossible. Mm -hmm. It's all about your attitude mm -hmm. and things will work out. All Thank right. you. Asanda, Asanda. Uh, let me come to Celeste. Celeste, today you've been on the spot, man. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, well, my name is Celestine. I'm a young man, probably the youngest in this stage. And uh, I feel like from the discussion, this is something that once you really take in, you can really grow, provided from where you are and what you're doing. Personally, I do digital creation. Mm -hmm. well, we are in a day and age where there are no excuses. You can do anything. Unaenda mtumba, unaenda, and get people on your side, get people on your team who, who support you, mm -hmm. not people who just want you. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's one thing I've really taken out of the show. Mm -hmm. And I really feel like now it's possible for me to get to that financial stability mm -hmm. and maybe even financial freedom in, in future. Wow, wow. Thanks so much, Alex. Uh, wow, I, I, I'm inspired. Thank you. Thank I'm you. inspired. Thanks so much. And uh, how can someone find you on social media now that you're a digital content creator? Thank you. Uh, you can get me on Instagram at Celestine Junior mm -hmm. underscore. Mm -hmm. uh, on TikTok at Celestine Junior. Mm -hmm. uh, on Twitter, Celestine Junior. All on right. Facebook, Celestine Junior. Asanda Sana. Thank you. Let me come to you, uh, Caroline. Uh, final word talk to Kenyans watching you today. Um, what I can say is that. Financial stability, financial freedom starts with an intention. We must be intentional. We must be deliberate. Otherwise, it is not possible. Where we start is basics. Do you have a budget for the money that you are generating? No. In fact, before we do a budget, what is your income generation plan? The talents that God has deposited in you can be interpreted to an income. Once the income comes in, there has to be a budget. And within your budget, there has to be an allowance for savings because it's through your saving that you'll be able to create a financial stability in future and financial right. freedom. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. Thank you so much. Now, now, now still on Celestine, still on Celestine, um, and, 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 and Caroline, yes. um, you're a financial advisor. How can people find you? Yes, I'm, I'm on your socials. I'm at, um, uh, on, on Instagram. Uh, Caroline Mudama, that's C-A-R-O-L-Y-N-E, Mudama. Uh, on YouTube, Caroline Mudama, we have a channel. Uh, on Facebook, Caroline Mudama. All right. And the other socials. I think right. they, we Thank also you. have LinkedIn, Caroline yes. Mudama. Thank uh, you Pamela, very much. How can someone find you on social media? On social media, um, I'm on YouTube. I'm Pamela Riziki of The Comeback Show. Mm -hmm. And also on Facebook, Pamela Riziki. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. And of course, uh, that brings us to the end of this uh, discussion today on Power Talk. And of course, before we leave, a quote of the day. Bring it up, uh, Timothy. Uh, so this is the quote of the day today. It's never too late to secure your financial future. But the sooner you start, the better off you and your family you will be in the future. Because value investing works and it keeps on working value investing works and it keeps on working a big thanks to caroline celeste and pamela for joining us today thank you so much it has been a pleasure being with you and of course today we are we talking about securing a financial future for the young people all right thanks so much for coming thank, thank you for thank having you. us all right i repeat yeah. of this show as again tonight at 10 p.m that is uh right here on y254 tv Thank you so much to each and every person that has been watching today. Thank you for your participation on our social media platforms. My name is Ram Maguko. This is Power Talk.